Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bots and Blasters. Back at it here at Thrift City, just looking for a parking space. Going inside right away and looking for anything that's slightly foam blaster ish <laughs> related. Like these Hotchathon? I don't know what they are. They caught my eye for a moment, set them back down. Not what I'm looking for. Um, Nitro Blaster. No. <laughs> I did find this though, very old school Busby Air Warriors, um, I think it's called the uh, Belt Blaster. I really was interested in it, but that price they had on it, I could not justify it for that price. That price of about six bucks. It's tempted though. So just went ahead and move along, we found a little, um, one of these zero three shots, I believe this is from the zombie line. Maybe it's green. It has, still has that little tag on the barrel. <laughs> I don't know. That was interesting. Uh, not worth the price they're asking, though. So moving right along, and uh, good old fashioned <laughs> Fortnite rocket launcher. This has been here forever. Still for ten bucks? No. But underneath it, hello, a power ball. This takes me back. Had the balls too, but 398 was a bit much. I still wanted to hit up some other stops, so I passed on this, but rare to see it with a hopper and with some bonus balls. <laughs> and here we have a Black Panther mask. It caught my eye because it has netting for the eyes, so for people that want eye protection, it's a decent alternative for straight art. Over here in the DVD and game section, found Nerf in Strike for the Wii. I have like three copies of this game. I passed on it though. Uh, but nothing here, so let's just gaze into Gus's eyes and move on to the next place. Now we headed over to Texas Thrift, which is right down the street from Thrift City. Let's head in here and let's see what we can find. First of all, right away this caught my eye. I was like, I know what this is. This is a crossbow. And like, oh wait, it's not a crossbow. It's a World Tech crossbow. I remember Brett did an episode about this. And the plunger tube is decent. I was tempted especially for 498 but I passed on it up here there was a an enforcer I believe and it was missing one of the clips had a long belt but since it was broken couldn't justify it for six bucks five bucks uh, see then down here saw a double dealer an equalizer um, some more just random stuff sidewinders De oh, and underneath the double dealer got a disruptor for 298 these are always good for wars Especially for loner bins, this type of stuff. Down there's a scorpion, a uh, walking dead crossbow. This one was jammed actually. It was stuck in the locked position, so I don't even know if it needs it, but it was stuck. Uh, scorpion right next to it. Another addition of the sidewinder, but this one they wanted 13 bucks for because it actually came with a drum, so no thank you. You can wait right there by the shadow and never get bought. <laughs> At least not by me. Hey, a maverick! I'm not going to take it home, but nice to see it. Let's go ahead and move down a little bit. And down here I saw this bow with this really weird obtuse arrow sticking out of it. I was like, what in the world is this? Turned out somebody had just shoved a lawn dart <laughs> in the top and tried to fire it. That was goofy. And then I saw a Magnum. You guys remember these back in the day? This isn't the XL. This is the one with the annoying grip. I was really tempted to get it, but storage for them is really annoying. Here I found a footstool. I thought it was something else, so oh well. Let's keep on looking. Going to the bagged areas. Uh, here we have the Alpha Strike Jolt. A couple of uh, darts. Not the good type of waffle head darts either. Here we have the Strong Arm and a couple of other just random darts. Alpha Strike Blaster. Six cylinder. Hmm. Not worth what they're asking for it though. Not worth six bucks. Pierce saw a different type of blaster. I don't you know. This was a weird off off brand knockoff one. Over here saw a random blaster. I didn't know what it was. Passed on it. Don't know. Keep going. If you guys see something that I don't, please by all means you know point it out. And right here, if I can get it unhooked was a panther with one of these uh, 
Zuma take like my, my micro clips are very similar to the Zuru ones. I think it might be the same company, just different names. I'm not sure. So we'll go ahead and put that back, and then over here, moving that aside. Hello for six bucks, a quadrant and a <laughs> and a Fortnite jolt. I'm not gonna get those by any stretch of the imagination. No, thank you. You can wait right there. <laughs> I did find two bags of Vulcan, uh, Vulcan rounds though, so I was like, ooh, th these belts are hard to come by in my area, so those are coming with me. Gotta show some bots, some love, here's some shockwave, I don't necessarily like the cyberverse line, but uh, cool to see in the wild. Some cones are always good, you never know when you need them, 298. Not a bad deal, but I didn't have use of them at the moment. They were like a dollar cheaper, maybe. Here I saw this T-Rex Koosh bl uh, Koos Blaster, which actually made noise and roared when you pulled the trigger, which was odd because it's a Koosh Blaster. Here's a couple more blasters here. Another Panther with a uh, some sort of mask in it. Put it back. Not what I'm looking for. Not for those prices. Random Legos looking about let me see what else do we get here found this bag of balls it sounds weird but these bag of balls like little knickknacks and MacGuffins like these are great to use for nerf wars uh, specifically for things that players have to collect and earn points for so for 198 for a bag of balls yep that's coming home with me let's see what else do they have around here Looking around, looking around. Doesn't look as though there's anything too much. That's the bad thing with these areas, a real hit and miss. I think I had gone right after work, so I didn't have time to uh, visit too many other places. I did go back and pick up this equalizer for 298. Yeah, 298. I've never seen them before, I've never used them before. I didn't know if it was worth it or not. So here's what I ended up getting. Got a disruptor for 298 because disruptors are always decent. Hand them to somebody who's never nerfed before. There you go. Equalizer as well. I like the profile if nothing else on it. Of course, got the Vulcan chains. There we go. Some more Vulcan chains. I'm probably going to attach them together. <laughs> Some old school mod in there. And then the bag of balls. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Not too much, really slim pickings, but I mean, you don't know if you don't go. <laughs> but that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thank you for 50 subscribers, everybody. I really appreciate it. I did not think this was even going to take off remotely. I'm mainly just doing this for fun, but I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. So peace out, and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.